Hey guys, we are in the numerical problem and geology video series and this video will be the class 5 and the topic is the remote sensing and the questions are from previous year that is from Jam and Gate. Welcome to my channel Success Guru and myself Panjanadam and let's get into the heading. So the very first question is from Gate 2012 that is from Party. On a photo scale of 1 is to 40,000, a square shaped open cast coal mine of 1 km square area would have an area of dash and the answer should be in centimeter square right so in this question what they are given is they are given the actual field distance and they are asked for the map distance so let us just recall the concept of scale as you remember the scale is the ratio of distance between two point on the map to the same two point on the ground and if you want to know more about the scale you just cross check our previous video on scale i will just share the link in the description so let us see the question in the question what they had given is the photo scale the actual coal mine size and what they had asked for is the coal mine size in the image right so let us just solve this question as you know the photo scale is say 1 is to 40,000 that simply mean that one unit in the ground is equal to 1 by 40,000 unit on the map right so that is the meaning of the scale so one kilometer is equal to 1 lakh centimeter and 1 kilometer in the ground is equal to 1 lakh by 40,000 and the answer is in centimeter. So the 1 kilometer in the ground should be equal to 2.5 centimeter on the map. And the area, as you know, the area is given by side into side, that is a formula of a square. So what we will get is 1 kilometer square in the ground should be equal to 2.25 into 2.25. So that is the side into side, that is 6.25 centimeter square. So the 1 km square area of the coal mine will be appearing as 6.25 cm square in the map. So the answer is option C. Is that clear? Okay, so let us move to the second question. So the second question is from Jam 2016, that is from part C. So the question is that two outcrops on a 1 to 25,000 map are say 12 cm apart. The ground distance between the two outcrop is dash that is in kilometer. So in this question what they are asked is they, what they are given is the map distance and what they are asked for is the actual distance. So this is somewhat like the previous question that is just a reverse of that one. In the previous question what we did is we had got the field distance so we had just converted that to the map distance. But in this question they are given the map distance so we have to convert that into the actual distance that is in the field right. So in the question what they are given is the map scale the map distance of the outcrops and what they are asked actually asked for is the distance between the two outcrops in the field. So let us solve this question as you know the scale of the map is 1 is to 25,000. That simply means 1 unit in the map is equal to 1 is to 25,000 units on the ground. So in the map the unit is say 12 centimeter. So that will be in the field is like 1 into 25,000 and the answer is in centimeter. So what you will get is 3 lakh centimeter. And in the question what they had asked for is in the terms of kilometer. So we have to convert the centimeter into kilometer as you know 1 lakh centimeter is 1 kilometer. So the answer will be like 3 kilometers. So the distance between the two outcrop on the ground is 3 kilometer. Is that clear? So the first two questions are quite easier for us to solve. So let us go for the next question which is a bit difficult. So this question is from JAM 2017 that is from part B. In a vertical aerial photo, the top and bottom of a tower built on a flat terrain is displaced by 2 mm. In the photograph, the distance between top and of the tower and the northern point is say 100 mm. The flying height of the aircraft was say 3000 m above the ground. Then estimate the height of the tower. So in this map, uh, in this question what they are asked is, they had given the aerial photograph and in the aerial photograph a vertical feature has been displaced that is a tower actually here. So from that uh, image displacement we have to calculate the actual height of the tower using some other data right. So for this question what I had to do is I just referred the book the remote sensing and image interpretation that is the sixth edition by Lily San, Keffer and Chipman. And uh, actually nearly the same question has been given there in page number uh, 139 to 151. Just scroll through it if you want to refer the book. So the right side image shows you that uh, 
what we are going to do is we are going for the relief displacement method so let me explain you what is relief displacement an increase in the elevation of a future cause its position on a photograph to be displaced radially outward from the principal point hence when a vertical future is photographed the relief displacement cause the top of the future to lie further from the photo photo center than it than its base as a result the vertical feature appears to lean away from the center of the photograph so when you are taking a imagery from a top so the vertical features what happens that will seems to be uh, leaning away from the center right uh, by this leaning you can just uh, measure the distance between them and you can actually calculate the actual height of the vertical feature that is what we are going to do and this method is called the relief displacement method right so let us solve from the book itself uh the geometric uh, component of the relief displacement are illustrated in the figure so this figure is from the same book that is figure number 13.13 which shows a vertical photograph image imaging a tower so here is a vertical this is a vertical photograph so this is the tower uh, which it is actually showing in the image uh, <clears throat> the photograph is taken from a flying height of h above the datum so what they are referring here is the datum is the flying height from the ground and not from the mean sea level so let me explain you why when considering the relief displacement of a vertical feature it is convenient to arbitrarily assume a datum plane placed at the base of the future itself so that we can go for the reference if this is done the flying height h must be correctly referred to this same datum and not from the mean sea level so when you are referring this you just keep the datum as the flat surface itself from which the tower is actually rising so that can be used as it is right so from the figure you can see the height of the tower that is h so the small h is the height of the tower that is what we are going to measure note that the top of the tower that is a is image at at a in the photograph so this is the photograph so this a is imaged as a in this photograph that is small a and uh, whereas the base of the tower a dash is imaged as small a dash so this is the base of the tower which is actually present there that is a, a capital a dash that is seen as a small a dash in the image right okay uh, the image of that is the image of the top of the tower is radially displaced by the distance d from that of the bottom so this has been displaced actually it is a vertical image vertical future but in the image what we are, can see is there is a displacement of the vertical future then di that displacement is small d that is they are mentioned here the distance d is the relief displacement of the tower so that is what we are going to calculate that is the relief displacement the equivalent distance projection of the datum d is d so the same distance can be projected in the field that is the capital d right the distance from the photo principal point to the top of the tower is r so the distance from the principal focus to this distance is r right this is a small distance this is another point so the distance is r the equivalent distance projected to the datum is capital r so in the image it is mentioned as small r and in the actual distance it is mentioned as capital r for just a reference having trouble in understanding geology concept looking for one to one virtual class environment then you are in the right place geologyassignmentsupport.com is here to help you in your studies we have an expert team in all branches of geology with doctorate and eight plus years of teaching experience we are ready to help you in your studies for more details check our website link is in the description so we can express the d as a function of dimension shown in figure 3.13 so this is the d what that we are going to express from the that forms a similar triangle a a dash a double dash and l o a double dash so this is the a and this is the a dash and this is the a double dash so this is a smaller triangle and what they are expressing here is L that is here and O is here and A double dash is here right so this triangle and this triangle are similar as you know this is a smaller one this is bigger one that's it the difference so what they, are, they can explain with this two triangles is the D by H that is the this distance by this uh, sorry this distance by uh, this distance is equal to r by h 
that is you can see here this distance that is r and this is h so this two should be equal to this two that is what here it is explained so we can also express the same thing in terms of photographic scale uh, photographic component that is we can use the small d instead of capital d and uh, small r instead of capital r right so this is what i just want to explain you so if you understand this uh, concept you can just solve the question that we are already mentioned so let us solve this question uh, from the previous slide we can just write it down like h is equal to d capital h by r where d is uh, relief displacement and r is the radial distance on the photograph from the principal point to the displaced image point and h is the height above the datum of the object point which we have we have to actually measure and h capital h is the flying height above the same datum chosen to refer h right so let us just substitute these values here uh, in the question what they are given is we have to calculate the h and d is say 2 mm and r is say 100 mm and h is 3000 m as the three units are in different uh, as the three are in different units we have to convert it into a single unit for my convenience i just convert all this three into meters and as you know 1000 mm is 1 meter so 2 mm will be written as 0.02 meter and 100 mm is written as 0.1 meter so just substituting this value what we will get is 60 meter so the actual height of the tower is 60 meter is that clear so if you have any doubt in this just uh, mention it in the comment section we will try to solve it in the next next video i group my videos according to the category that you can check in my playlist you can connect with us by mail facebook and instagram and these are the links you can support us by like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a great day